Well, hello there, Miss Ray. We haven't seen you in some time. Hi, Professor Moore. I have been busy with my turtle farm. Excuse me? Did you say turtle farm? Yes, I have a turtle farm. I am teaching turtles how to walk backwards. Oh, I see. Very unusual. Can I help you with something? Yup. I don't quite understand conditional logic. Perhaps I can help you. If an argument contains a conditional statement, another statement will do something to either the antecedent or the consequent. Oh, that's right. That's sort of where I get lost. If the other statement denies the antecedent or affirms the consequent, the argument is not valid. That's what you have to remember. The antecedent is what comes after the if, and the consequent comes after the then, right? Correct. And if the other statement denies the antecedent or affirms the consequent, the conclusion does not follow. So what I must remember is AC and DA. Yes. Affirming the consequent and denying the antecedent. Those are the forms that are not valid. Let's hear you say it. Affirming the consequent and denying the antecedent. Those are the forms that are not valid. Fine. Now give me an example of affirming the consequent. Let me think. Well, if an animal is a turtle then it is a reptile. This animal is a reptile. Therefore it is a turtle. Bravo Miss Ray. That is affirming the consequent. Now give me an example of denying the antecedent. If an animal is a turtle then it is a reptile. This animal is not a turtle. Therefore it is not a reptile. Yes that is denying the antecedent. Good for you. Thus both sound valid to me. Yes, they can sound valid. But now you know better. Well, thank you, Professor Moore. By the way, my name is Desiree, not Miss Ray. Oh, I see. R is your middle initial. Des. R. Ray. What does your middle initial stand for? No. Um, never mind. Thank you, Professor Moore. I will see you in class.